from the haven. A hush fell over the castle and its gardens, a silent anticipation for the knight's enchantment. Morgana, with the help of the garden sprites and the joyful fairies, had prepared for a celebration unlike any before. It was a night to share stories, to weave dreams into the fabric of the stars, and to bond the inhabitants of the haven closer together. In the center of the gardens, where the magic of the place pulsed strongest, a clearing had been prepared. Lanterns glowing with gentle light floated in the air, bobbing slightly as if dancing to the soft melody of the night breeze. A circle was formed, with every creature, magical and mortal alike, finding a place. In the middle, a great cauldron bubbled, not with a witch's brew, but with the sparkling waters from the enchanted brook, infused with petals from the fireflowers and leaves from the whispering trees. Morgana stood at the edge of the circle, her eyes reflecting the myriad lights that flickered like tiny stars. Tonight, she began, her voice carrying a warmth that wrapped around the gathering like a gentle embrace. We come together not as strangers, but as family. Each of us has journeyed far, carrying our hopes and dreams, our fears and sorrows. Tonight, we share those dreams, casting them into the night, trusting that the magic of this place, the magic within each of us, will carry them to the stars. One by one, the inhabitants of the haven stepped forward. The phoenix, its flames dimming to a soft glow, spoke of its dream for rebirth. Not just for itself, but for the world it had seen, scarred by time and neglect. The griffin, its voice echoing with the strength of the mountains it had once called home, wished for peace. For a time when creatures like itself would not have to fight to protect those they loved. The child, holding tightly to a fairy's hand, whispered his wish into the night. A simple hope for a home where he could be safe, where he could be loved. And the soldier, his eyes glistening with unshed tears, wished for healing, not just for his own battered spirit, but for all those who had been touched by the ravages of war. As each wish was spoken, Morgana, with a wave of her hand, sent it swirling into the cauldron, where the waters caught the light, turning into a vortex of shimmering colours. When all had shed, she lifted her hands to the sky, and the vortex rose, a column of light that pierced the night, sending their wishes to the heavens. The magic of the haven, bolstered by the unity and hope of its inhabitants, carried their wishes to the stars, where they twinkled brightly, promises of a future where dreams could become reality. As the light faded, and the stars above seemed to shine a little brighter. The inhabitants of the haven felt a bond form between them, stronger than any magic Morgana had ever woven. They were no longer just refugees, but a community, a family brought together by their shared dreams and the sanctuary they had found. The night of stars and wishes ended not with the dawning of the sun, but with the knowledge that no matter the darkness, there would always be light, as long as they stood together, united in hope and in magic. And so, the enchanted refuge thrived, a beacon of light in a world that often forgot the magic that dwelled ever vigilant, felt the change in the air. A chill that crept into the warmth of her gardens, casting shadows where light had reigned. She stood at the edge of the woods, her eyes piercing the darkness, searching for the source of the unrest that had begun to disturb the harmony of her haven. The trees, ancient guardians of the forest, whispered warnings to Morgana. 
They spoke of a shadow that moved with intent, a darkness that sought to extinguish the light of the haven, to reclaim the land for its own dark desires. Morgana listened, her heart heavy with the burden of the threat that loomed over her sanctuary. Determined to protect her home and the family she had found among the magical creatures who sought refuge within her walls, Morgana gathered her allies. The dragon, with its wings healed and its spirit restored, the phoenix, its flames a beacon of hope, and the other inhabitants of the haven, each ready to stand in defense of the peace they had found. Together, they ventured into the woods, the light of their unity casting a glow that pushed back the darkness. They searched for the source of the shadow, ready to confront whatever malevolent force threatened their home. But the shadow was elusive, a whisper of malice that retreated before their light, leading them deeper into the woods away from the safety of the haven. Morgana realized the danger too late. The shadow was not merely fleeing, it was leading them into a trap. As night fell, the shadow revealed itself, not as a single entity, but as a multitude of dark spirits, remnants of an ancient magic that had once ruled the land, now corrupted by time and neglect. They swirled around Morgana and her allies, a storm of darkness that sought to overwhelm them. The battle was fierce, the air crackling with the clash of light and shadow. Morgana's magic, combined with the strength of her allies, held the darkness at bay. But it was clear that this was only the beginning. The malevolent force was testing them, probing for weaknesses and it would return, stronger and more determined. Exhausted but undeterred, Morgana and her allies returned to the haven, the threat of the shadow hanging heavy over their hearts. They knew that the peace they had found was fragile, threatened by forces that sought to destroy all that Morgana had built. But Morgana was not without hope. She had faced darkness before, and she had triumphed, not through power alone, but through the strength of her heart, her willingness to change, and the bonds she had formed with the creatures who called her Haven home. She would stand against the shadow, protect her family, and ensure that the light of the Haven would not be extinguished. As the inhabitants of the refugee gathered, united in their resolve to protect their home, Morgana spoke, her voice a beacon of determination in the face of the darkness that loomed over them. We have found peace and safety within these walls, she said, a sanctuary for all who seek refuge. Anticipation for the festival grew. Morgana, watching over the preparations with a heart full of joy, couldn't help but reflect on the journey that had brought them all together. The haven had become more than a sanctuary. It was a home, a community woven together by threads of trust, love and shared dreams. The festival of the Enchanted Moon was not just a celebration of the haven's founding, but a testament to the magic that thrived within its walls, nurtured by the unity of its inhabitants. As the night of the festival arrived, the moon rose high in the sky, bathing the refuge in a silver glow that seemed to enhance the magic of the place. Creatures from all corners of the haven and beyond gathered in the great hall and throughout the gardens, drawn by the promise of a night filled with joy, music and wonder. The dragon, its scales aglow with the light of the enchanted moon, took to the skies, performing a dance of fire and flight that left trails of sparkles in the air. 
the merfolk sang songs of the deep, their voices harmonizing with the bubbling streams, while the unicorns pranced through the meadows, their horns aglow with gentle magic. Morgana, standing at the center of it all, raised her hands, and with a voice filled with emotion, she spoke. Tonight, we come together under the light of the enchanted moon, not as different beings from different realms, but as one family, united by our shared dreams and hopes for peace. Let this festival be a reminder of the strength we possess when we stand together, of the beauty we can create, and of the endless possibilities that lie ahead. The festival continued into the night, with feasting, storytelling and displays of magic that left all who attended in awe. It was a night where the barriers between worlds seemed to blur, where the magic of the haven reached out, touching the hearts of all who believed in the power of unity and peace. As the first light of dawn began to peek over the horizon, signalling the end of the festival, the inhabitants of the haven, both old and new, felt a renewed sense of purpose and belonging. They had created a miracle, a place where magic and harmony flourished, guided by the light of the enchanted moon and the boundless heart of their guardian, Morgana. The festival of the enchanted moon would be remembered not just as a celebration of the haven's founding, but as a symbol of hope a beacon for all who sought a world where love and magic knew no bounds. In the calm that followed the jubilant celebration of the Festival of the Enchanted Moon, Morgana found herself wandering through the tranquil gardens of the Haven, her steps guided by a reflective, introspective silence. The laughter and music of the festival still echoed in her heart, a melody of joy and unity that underscored the profound journey she had embarked upon since the haven's inception. As the sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky with strokes of crimson and gold, Morgana paused beside the enchanted stream, its waters murmuring secrets only she could understand. It was here, in the quietude of twilight, that she allowed herself a moment of vulnerability, a pause to reflect on the transformation that had not only reshaped the world around her, but had fundamentally altered the essence of her being. Once a solitary figure, shrouded in the mystery and fear the tales of her past had woven, Morgana had discovered within the haven's bounds something far more powerful than any spell she could cast. The strength of connection, the warmth of friendship, and the unassailable force of love. Her heart, once guarded and alone, now thrived amidst a family of magical beings, each with their own stories of resilience and hope. The realization that her once lonely heart was now replete with the love of her chosen family brought a sense of peace and fulfillment that Morgana had never dared to dream possible. The haven was no longer just a sanctuary for those seeking refuge. It was a testament to the power of change, both within the world and within oneself. As the stars began to sprinkle the velvet night sky, Morgana felt the presence of her friends gathering around her, their silent support a comforting embrace. The dragon, its fiery breath a gentle warmth in the cooling air. The phoenix, its feathers softly aglow with the last light of dusk. And countless others, from the sprites to the unicorns, each a unique thread in the rich tapestry of the haven. Together, they watched the stars, the celestial guardians of their dreams and wishes, and Morgana understood that her journey was not solely her own. It was a shared odyssey, 
a collective endeavor that had brought them all to this moment of serenity and strength. With a heart brimming with gratitude, Morgana spoke to the night, her words a whisper carried on the breeze. Thank you, for this haven is not just my legacy, but ours. It is a beacon of hope, a sanctuary of peace and a home for love. Together, we have created a place where magic does not just exist. It thrives, nurtured by the bonds of our shared hearts. The witch's heart, once a fortress of solitude, now beat with the rhythm of the haven, a symphony of love and magic that resonated with the very essence of the world. In this moment of queer reflection, Morgana realized that the greatest magic of all was not found in ancient spells or mystical artifacts, but in the simple, profound connections that bound them all together. As the night deepened, the inhabitants of the haven dispersed, each carrying with them the light of the shared moment, a reminder of the love that had transformed their lives and the witch at the heart of it all. In the days that followed, the reflective twilight shared among the magical family of the enchanted refuge, a sense of renewed purpose stirred within the hearts of its inhabitants. The haven, a beacon of peace and magic, had grown not just in size, but in spirit, its essence intertwined with the lives of those it sheltered. It was a sanctuary that had given much, and now, as the golden hues of autumn painted the world in shades of change, the time had come to honour the haven and its guardian, Morgana, through a pledge of protection and unity. Gathered in the Great Hall, beneath the ancient beams that had witnessed the transformation of the witch and her sanctuary, the creatures of the haven came together. The dragon with scales that shimmered like the night sky, took its place beside Morgana, its presence a symbol of strength and loyalty. The phoenix, radiant and serene, perched atop the mantle, its flames a gentle reminder of rebirth and resilience. Around them, the myriad inhabitants of the refuge, each unique, each vital to the tapestry of the haven, stood in a circle, united by a common cause. Morgana, moved by the gathering, stepped forward, her voice a soft melody that filled the hall. When I opened my heart and the gates of this haven, I did so with the hope of creating a sanctuary for all who sought peace. She began. Morgana and her family of magical beings made their way back to the great hall their steps light with the knowledge that the legacy they carried would continue to unfold, as boundless and enduring as the stars above. They knew that the haven would continue to grow, to welcome new stories and new challenges, but that the foundations of love, unity and peace would remain unshaken. The legacy of the enchanted refuge, Morgana realized, was not just in the sanctuary it provided or the magic 